Now that's a good looking TV. Hello, repair enthusiasts. Boy, oh boy, do we have a doozy. You hear that? If you will notice, there's really no bezel. It's just TV straight on metal. So this does make it a bit trickier than your standard backlight repair. We're gonna get this guy unscrewed. Different issue. It's gonna check with our backlight tester. And it's very easy, there's only one, only one connection really. Anything, nothing. <laughs> Did shock myself a little bit, but still nothing. So, in the meantime, let's finish getting this thing taken apart. Going to just give it a flip. And then we have two more screws. Silver painted plastic. Okay, so the easy part is done. Now we're gonna find out why this TV is particularly tricky. So the reason why this TV is a little tricky, like I said, it has no bezel. It's just panel straight onto the metal chassis. So generally we take off adhesive with either, um, what happened to the floss? Okay. With either, um, spoiler, but um, we usually use alcohol or heat to remove adhesive, but in this case, both of those are not gonna work out well for us. Because if we use alcohol, it will destroy the diffuser. Same thing with heat, and then also heat will potentially damage the panel. So we're gonna take floss. Now this might not be strong enough, but it looks like it is. And just kinda floss the TV. Sometimes you will break the floss. I do like to focus on the bottom just because it's, you know, you know, you can potentially rip the ribbons if you're not careful. You can get it from the other side. Gonna need a new piece of floss. The thing is with this method, you will get a lot of residue from the adhesive on the panel, on the bezel, or the uh, chassis. And, you know, and also the adhesive is generally still attached. It's just kind of, you know, in pieces. So you have to peel it off and then make sure there's no residue when you go to reattach it. So let me see if I can get that on camera. See how on the edge there's kind of some flakes and there's really just like a continuous band that we have to peel off. So. But this TV is just, with the adhesive, it's just a real pain. If anyone has a better method to remove the panel, let me know, but. Yeah, in my experience, you can really, I've only been able to get good results with the floss method. But it does just take longer than your average backlight. Of course, you don't want any of this residue on the panel or on the diffuser.
Now there are, there are bezel-less Roku TVs or uh, even Android TVs that you know benefit from the the sleek design, sleek bezel-less design, but they use a you know they're not technically bezel-less. They have a, a plastic kind of like this piece around the edge of the metal, so it's not just you know it's it's not just um, panel on the metal frame and the benefit of that is really um, really us the the repair technician <clears throat> remove the bezel or remove the panel we can just use the uh, like take off remove it from the the uh, just take take the bezel off with the panel and that way we don't have to mess with any adhesive A little bit of adhesive at the bottom. Kind of smells like honey, weirdly enough. But, okay, I'm gonna take it one step at a time. All right, top two strips work. Pretty stable, difference of about one, two. So it looks like our issue is in the bottom strip. So check halfway. Check the other half. Somewhere here. It might be the first one actually. Okay, so we've narrowed it down. So we try to light up everything. No dice. And we try after the first one. I mean, really, I, I went strip by strip, so this one's good. This one's good, and I know they're all on the same line. So I can just move the red, keep the black, and just test all of them. So I was like, okay, these three strips work. It must be this one. I'm right, so I went halfway. Nothing. Check the other half. So bring the red over to where my black just was, and oh, so the other half works. The other half works. Check half again. That half works. And then I'm like, all right, well, it kind of seems like it's the first one. So I check right after the first one. And every single LED lights up, except for this guy right here. And so we're going to grab a donor. This should do here. And I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. The LED itself is cracked. Burnt up. And that's generally what happens. I actually prefer to use my spatula. Kind of just give it a good whack. In our wire a little bit. And just repeat. You want to give it a quick test. And nice, we're good. good to go. Use the adhesive strips we were talking about earlier.
We are gonna see if we can get this on. Center it. Get this centered. Oof. How do we do? How did we do? Honestly, not terrible. Pray that there's no obvious light or dark spots kind of looking in this corner. And I think it actually looks really good. That is a good looking TV. Just gonna give it a little wipe. Probably gotta clean this rag again, so I'm gonna give it a wipe and give it a double cleaning. Maybe some alcohol on this edge because that weird, strange, Substance is just on the edge. That's something must have leaked in there. Someone had a bean burrito and the bean burrito leaked in the TV somehow. So that's it. That is how we do it. Another backlight repair for the books, and so yeah, thanks for thanks for watching, and yeah.